Use aliases to create quick shortcuts on your Mac. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. Now, I use an external drive as sort of my scratch drive for videos and things of that nature because I have a MacBook Pro and the videos are obviously very large. They take a very big amount of space, big chunk of space on my on my drive there. So I need an external drive. I have a two terabyte external drive that I use for all of my video related files. So you see I have a Final Cut folder on my external drive here and I have the uh, original media folder there as well. Now I like to access this folder for whatever reason a lot of times during my day uh, but it would be annoying if I had to go in uh, to each of these levels of the directory. So basically I had to go in, go to external, double click on Final Cut files, open up Final Cut original media, then find what I need. Wouldn't it be nice if I could get directly to this with just a single double click? Uh, yeah, that would be great, right? So that is where aliases come in. And I'm gonna show you how to create an alias a couple of ways. Uh, one way is probably the bad way, and another way is the better way. So I'm gonna show you right now. So all you need to do is find the folder that you want to create the alias for. So I want this to be my alias, which is basically just a shortcut. Uh, if you use Windows before, aliases are synonymous with shortcuts uh, in Windows. Uh, they don't call them shortcuts on the Mac, but it's basically the same concept. So you wanna right click here on the folder that you wanna create the alias for, and then select Make Alias, like this. And now you see the alias, Final Cut Original Media Alias. So whenever I double click on this, it'll actually take me to the Final Cut Original Media folder. So this means that I can actually drag this out and place it anywhere on my Mac. I'm gonna put it on the desktop and that will allow me to quickly access that folder just with a double click like this. So there is the original media folder and I can access all my original media on my external drive from my desktop just with a quick double click. Pretty handy and of course you can rename that. I can just call it videos if I wanna do that. And just because you rename it doesn't change the, the, the uh, link to the original folder. You just double click on it like that and there you go. Now say you wanted to find out where this is actually pointing. Uh, well, you can do that easily, easily by just right clicking on the folder and select show original. And that will show the original location of the folder that it's linking to like this. Pretty simple, right? All right, so let me show you a better way to do this. I'm gonna delete these two aliases. And to me, the better way to do this is to find the folder that you want to create the alias for, hold the option and command key on your keyboard at the same time, continue holding them, and then just drag the folder off and notice a little arrow there that signifies that an alias is being created and then just release your mouse and then release the keys, just like that. Now you've created the alias in a much better way. Number one, you've placed it immediately where you want it to appear. Number two, there's no lingering uh, alias in the original place because you actually moved it over instead of copied it over. Uh, and then, yeah, so those are two obviously beneficial things. And then it's just much quicker to do it, do it this way. Uh, so you can also rename this. I'm just gonna name it videos. All right, so now when I double click on it, guess what? Directly to my Final Cut original media folder. So I definitely recommend using the command option and then drag, uh, instead of just right clicking and select make alias, but either way works and either way is good. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you use aliases on your Mac? If not, you may wanna try doing it because it can make your workflow that much easier. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.